This is my diorama of a pirate ship's captain's cabin. These are the floorboards all cut ready. I didn't sand the edges of these because when they glued together I wanted them to have that few gaps and spaces to show that it's uneven. Glued into a piece of um, sapele. This is finished floor, it's great. I love the idea that I can see gaps and things. I could do it really smooth, but I didn't want that. That's not what I want. This is my table, piece of Iroko. Great wood for anything like this. It uh, sands, sands brilliantly, cuts well. And um, it's pretty stable. It's not got a coarse grain like oak and that. Sometimes your coarse grains on oak and ash sometimes makes it look it's too big, the grain's too big for, for miniature stuff. Well, tell you, you just got to choose your woods carefully sometimes for anything when you start doing miniature stuff. This has been sanded to from 240 grit onto 320 grit. And then a good coat of sand and seal on. As you've probably seen in a minute, I uh, probably used too much sand and seal on. But uh, I used... Yorkshire grit to denib it. Once it's denibbed, I use the friction polish. I like friction polish on anything like this because it's good hard wearing, it's easy getting. I do prefer it to uh, using waxes and oils. It's a finished item, all sat in the room ready, waiting to be laid. It's been laying the table. Um, this is my uh, goblet or glass, wine glass. Or cutting it with my um, mini skew chisel. I do tend to like skew chisels for this sort of work. It makes life a lot easier. Uh, uh, I've done this out of a beach dowel. Now, dowels are fantastic for this sort of work. Um, the beach ones, one, they're cheap, they're so easy to get hold of. And two beach is just such a coarse, uh, sorry, a fine grain wood. It uh, doesn't tend to snap, it holds its, its, its strength very, very well. And if you use colouring on it, it doesn't tend to bleed that much. If you are worried about it bleeding, just put a bit of sandy seal on first. This is a, a marker pen. Put a marker pen and uh, coloured it in. So I'll give him a full glass, no good giving him half a glass of wine. And then once I did once I coloured this actually sandy sealed it and then lacquered it. Use spray again. It's a candlestick already to be sanded and finished off. That's the table fully laid with your candlestick, your plate, wine glass and wine bowl. This is a dresser. I've done it a Walsh dresser style. It's for the books. And clamp together and, uh, and glue together with all three adhesives glue. This is the finished item. Complete with drawer handles. These are my little books. Um, this is a, a lat of beach where I rounded the edge, then covered it with a veneer. I soaked the veneer in water, held them, clamped them on for a few hours, let it dry off. Once it's dried off, coated the lat again with glue, then put the veneer back on, clamped it down, and come to size. And this is the area, the map reading area. This is a telescope. I did it first of all, I did it in wood. And then thought, mm, brass one might be better. I did the brass wheel on the wood lathe with the bead, me beading tools, fantastic. Great tool for anything like that. A picture frame with a ship. My treasure chest, complete with padlock, with veneers to make the the castings on it. Again, glued glued on. The, this is the full areas inside. And that's your complete, complete cabin. It's a little, little video of it and with a, a, a chair with velvet seed in and then turn that over and every pirate's got to have a hero, Captain Pugwash, which is a, a 1970s British children's programme. 